Right, hi, I just thought I'd put together a very quick and dirty video on using an intervalometer with a camera and this is to make use of the mirror lock and the two second self timer on the cameras. Okay, this is a Canon 30D but it will give you some idea. So basically turn it on and go into the menu and somewhere down in the settings you should find, now on this particular camera it's down in the custom functions. There is a section in here specifically called mirror lock. Uh, there it is mirror lock up. All right, so go into that and make sure it's set to enable. On this camera, I've already done this. So that's your mirror lock. So that's your first setting. So what that now does is it changes the camera over. So I'll just make sure. Right, that it's currently on 2000 millisecond so if I make sure it's set to on the drive mode I'm just going to make sure it is set to the bulb setting which on this camera is just like so just moving everything across so that the camera is now bring it up hang on so you can see right there we're on the bulb setting Okay, so what happens when I take a picture, first press of the intervalometer, right, I'm just going to press the cable release button, first press, I've got it all set on already, hang on a second, right, let me put the drive, make sure the setting is over there, uh, I'm just trying to remember how to do this. But is it the drive? That one? There, there. So many settings on these cameras. Because I've managed to get it turned on. Right, so what I've set up, anyway, I'll show you, is. I've got the two two second self timer turned on. So when I press press the button on the on the shutter, it will start counting. Two seconds, take the picture, and I let go, closes the lens up. Let me do that again and see what's going on on the camera. Okay. Press. Okay, and if you listen, click. Click again, let go. The second click is the, pic the camera actually starting to take the picture. Now if I can remember how to do it, I could have sworn it was on the drive button. It's that one. Aha, there it is. Right, got it. It's ages since I played with this camera. Um, for, the for this anyway. Right, so do that, make sure so I'm taking about 800 ISA. So I've just put, I've turned off the two second self timer. So the way it works, first click, you heard the mirror lock go. Second click, it's now taking the image. When I let go, finishes the image. Listen again. That's the mirror lock. Let go. Taking the photo, I let go. The reason why we put the drive in the camera, why we put it over onto the two second self timer, and you can see that if I do that, you can see it by looking at the drive image here. If I move that across, no, it's bulb, I want bulb. Drive, we move that across. So that's single frame here, multi frame, hyper, multi frame, and then there's your countdown. The reason why we use that is what happens is watch first click, it starts the countdown timer. The countdown timer, when it finishes, simulates the second click. When I release, it takes the photo. 
Now with the intervalometer, what you can do is set it up. This one's got a self timer of five seconds, an interval of four minutes 55. So I'm gonna change that. I'm just gonna make it say five seconds. Okay. A long exposure of five seconds and I'm going to change the frames down to say okay, I just want to be able to set this so I'm going to take two two pictures okay if I do that uh, can you see there you go you can see two frames okay two frames five second self timer Interval of five seconds, so that's five seconds between shots and five second exposure. Now the thing about this is what, what this will result is a three second exposure because the long exposure part is five seconds minus the two seconds on the self timer. Now where the intervalometer comes into its own, there's a start button. Click and then it will count down, two, one. Starts taking the photo. That's the first frame. Writes the frame to the camera. And then it takes the next one and off it goes. So all, all this, all the intervalometer is doing is pushing down the shutter, five seconds later, letting the shutter button back up again. The camera is doing a two second sound countdown so you end up with a five second photo obviously if you extend the exposure times then you can take a number of shots this particular intervalometer will do up to 99 frames and it will do up to 24 hours per exposure with up to 24 hours between exposures so you can get a lot of flexibility from it you can program this thing to do pretty much your entire night's um, for image capturing. And that is basically how you use the intervalometer.